You guys, these two are so jealous. They always want to be near Joe. And I don't know why Cora's just laying in this dirty water that she threw on the floor. She's hot. But it's not too hot out here today, right, Joe? Oh my God. <laughs> she put her head inside the thingy. I gotta get this snapshot, Joe. Hold on, hold on. Look, Joe, and smile. Cora. Cora. Cora and Wednesday. Wednesday. Cora. Cora. Cora, look here. Cora. Come on. <laughs> I think I could freeze it and get something. Country boy Joe, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. So you get, um, you, over the weekend you have to tape one show so we can have it ready for Monday because you are Monday to Friday, okay? We don't want to overwork you and then you run out of stories to tell and you start telling lies. I'm running out, yeah. You're not running out, you still have a lot from your childhood to tell. What you guys used to eat. Yeah. What your mama used to do to the egg. Why do I have to tell you your own stories? My mama used to take, uh, no, no, don't tell it. That, that, no, 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 don't, don't give them too much now. Come on now. Come on. And how, and how do I know that I was ugly? Oh, Lord have mercy. How, how do I know I was ugly? All right, that's going to be the next one for Monday, y'all. <laughs> Joe's, Joe's out here with his crazy dogs. I know you're going to feel horrible after you eat the, that Chinese food. I know. Is it Korean barbecue or is it Chinese food? Chinese. Chinese. So that is doing a barbecue, but you ran out of sauce for the chicken thighs right here. Oh. Uh -huh. But the chicken looks good, so I'm like, let me make my own barbecue sauce. You oh. know, I put ketchup. I forgot you could do that, yeah. Mix the stuff together. And then I'm doing shrimp fajita with the leftover shrimp from the kebabs, because I'm doing the kebab show. Mm hmm This is coming out nice. Mm. Yeah. Jada, probably it's all that cumin that Daddy put in that fajita thing. Yeah. It has to be. It's coming out in your skin. He probably put a ton of it in there, yeah, too. We, Jada smells like spice. When you smell like an Indian uh, person's kitchen. <laughs> yeah, like worse things to smell like. <laughs> True. Huh? Yeah, there are worse things to smell like. Especially if you smell like sugar. That's not good because you probably got sugar diabetes. <laughs> well, I usually smell like sugar because I work at a bakery. That's true though. That's true. Every day she comes home, she smells good. Like it's chicken. Like, oh, what you cook today? <laughs> chicken? No wonder Wednesday like to love you up when you come home. Yeah. You guys like my shirt? You know we were doing it yesterday. So I left this as fringe. I didn't double it and sew it. I just left the fringe because I like the fringe. And see what I told you guys? That if I wanted to like rope my figure in, I'd be with the belt. I'm 182 point something. I took a picture with this phone <laughs> the other day, two days ago. 182 point something. When I hit 180, I will cut my hair. Not short enough, they don't get it twisted. Just, you know, to make it not look scraggly. I think this is done. Yes, so. Oh, forgot to put the tomato. <laughs> not done. The tomatoes don't have to cook very long anyways. I don't like them too soggy. But I should have left the stove on, but I'll see. Oh, I have my sunglasses on because I'm going back and forth in the yard for this show today, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, then just go eat the Chinese food. Thank you, Josh. All right, for all the people that were on my live event today and they saw that I was making po da bon for Joe, here they are. These ones have in dates. Joe, Joseph, I put dates in these ones because I didn't have raisins, so I tried some dates. I didn't have raisins, so I put dates. D A T E S, dates. He's already, he already can't hear then he have on his headphone. Yeah. Yes, baby. I did that for you. Because you've been so good to me for the past 22 days. I had to treat you good. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Plus, you're writing a song about me. <laughs> I have to be very afraid. Seriously though guys, Joe and the kids have been so good to me over the past 22 days since I've had the surgery that I really and truly have to show my appreciation to them. If it wasn't for them and for you guys, you guys were the emotional and spiritual support. If it wasn't for you guys, I don't know where I would be. Look at this. You guys see this? The shirt Joe made for me. 
yes I put on the four little pretty buttons see I'm thinking that I want to put a hook and a hook and eye here but maybe not it'll probably choke me off first time we put on piping so don't judge we'll get better next time but I like that it has these little eyelets I love the sleeves it's pretty and there go Joe singing again there go Joe we gotta go me oh my oh this is a show that we did today I wish I could eat some of this right now but it's too late for my digestive system it's already 8 30 at night yeah oh I gotta put away this chicken Joe made today oh look at this beautiful chicken guys mm-mm -mm. Joe you like my shirt Joseph you like my shirt? Mm. You like my shirt? Mm -hmm. Not my skirt. Mm. Honey, not my skirt, my shirt. Oh, your shirt? Yeah, uh -huh. you're good. Where buy that? You like my buttons? Mm -hmm. See, I put down the buttons? Where buy that shirt? I buy it from Shay, um, Shay Joseph. <laughs> Shay Henri. Jada went to a party and Jory went out. Hey, so right now it's just hey, me hey, and Joe and Josh. And that singing. Says, you see what you started? That's the singing that I'm getting all day long. Because <laughs> you asked him to write a song. <laughs> uh, compromise. It wasn't about compromise, General John Kelly. It was about slavery. You, you also write that John Kelly never met with you, that he never had any time of day for you. But I'm watching this interview with Omarosa and AM Joy. Well, Joy. Um, this show is called AM Joy. And it's been so juicy that I couldn't even help Joe make the breakfast. It's a good one, guys. It's a good one. It's Saturday morning, by the way. Saturday, August the 25th. So let me go eat my breakfast. Donald Trump. Not only is she calling him unhinged, but just moments ago, she told me Trump is unraveling before our very eyes and bringing out our two I feel like Trump is un un unraveling before our very eyes. I'm making sandwiches. Sandwiches for us to take to our little trip today so today is the 25th and I had the surgery on the second so this is 23 days after the surgery what I have here is some sliced onions and um, I'm just soaking it in some is that distilled white vinegar or white distilled vinegar let me see because I I'm editing the book and I keep wondering and I don't get up and check it's Distilled white, distilled white vinegar, distilled white vinegar. Oh, I gotta go fix that in every recipe. Distilled white. How do I remember? It starts with a D. Distilled, distilled, distilled. So this is just vinegar and water soaking the onions. This is why I don't eat onions like at Costco on the hot dogs and stuff because they don't soak it in anything. The onion is just raw, it's bitter, it burns, and then it stays on your breath forever and ever, ever. So another uh, trick with onions, after you've touched it, don't wash your hand with soap because the soap will lock that onion smell in. Wash your hand with plain water. I can finally eat raw lettuce, guys. So I'm so happy to have this on my sandwich today. Somebody ringing my phone. It's too early to deal with somebody ringing my phone. It's 8.43 in the morning on a Saturday. I made powder bun yesterday. As I told you guys, these ones have dates in them. Just see who it is. That, Joe, if it's my dad, I'll call him right back. Jory got us some ham. No turkey. Oh my God, I'm all turkeyed out from my stint with having a non-working gallbladder. I'm all turkeyed out. Let's see who Joe says it is. This little thing is nice. We could keep this to put a sandwich in. I like this. Yeah. I, I like reusing packaging and stuff like that. You got a plate. Joe has not come back yet to tell me who it be. I need mayo. Not, not mayo. Mustard. I already have mayo on the counter. No matter if you do this with the mustard, it always dribbles that water first. Why? You're still talking to whoever called my phone. Tracy. Oh my God. 
Thanks for sharing that video with me with those two mukbangers that did that collaboration. I've seen the lady before, but you know, I'll see a video pop up in my feed, I'll watch, and then I don't go subscribe, and then I can't find the people. I like that lady. I think she's pretty. And um, she's, she seems very easygoing. Let me see if I'll use this. But, Lord have mercy, she's going to blow her heart up with all the stuff that she's eating. Well, not this one. I up the wrong way. This knife right here, let me show you. It has a curved tip. And I got it from Jessica. Can you guys see the curve? And we didn't know what that curve tip was about. We thought somebody messed up all the knives because there was a bunch of them like this. And then Ron said, no, it's supposed to take out the grapefruit out of the skin when you eat grapefruit. And I tried it and it works, but I still prefer to peel my grapefruit and, sh and strip it apart. So this is spreading knives. I got some of these from Mommy too. I got a bunch of stuff when we helped Jessica and Daddy move. Jessica's doing fantastic, by the way. Um, I heard from her, I think it was yesterday. She's trying to send us some clips that I can put in the vlog uh, so we can see, you know, where she's living and how they're doing. But you know how it is. It's hard to send clips. Oh, it came up. It's hard to send clips because... Um, they want you to put it in the cloud. And I don't put nothing up in no cloud. I have never even taken a racy picture, but I still don't want to put nothing in the cloud. Because I feel like one will end there. And I don't even have one. That's how afraid I am of the cloud. <laughs> yeah, when I make sandwiches, I like to spread everything over the whole bread so everything gets covered. Put the rest of the mustard. So, um, ham. Oh, here it is. Why well, you guys didn't tell me where I put the ham? You guys, how many calories? 70 calories for two ounces. So that looks like two ounces. Yeah, that's enough for a sandwich anyways. Oh, it, it looks so good. The ham is so lean. And let me, and I, 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 um, I don't put like the big pieces of the thing because you want to be able to bite it. That's my little trick to sandwiches. You want to be able to bite it and not do this and the whole thing pulls like that. I was like, oh God, no. We're out in public, people. I think that's the one thing that I don't like about the mukbangers is that they eat nasty. Come on, close your mouth. Chew with your mouth closed. Uh, wipe your mouth, wipe your face. Do what your mama taught you. And I'm also gonna cut the onion. They're like ringlets right now, but I'm gonna cut them. Because again, when you bite into the sandwich, you don't want to like pull the whole onion down the street doing this thing here. Now, Joe doesn't really care for ketchup. So for his, I'm just going to put some Marie Sharps. I'm still not doing a lot of spice yet. I had the one chicken thigh from um, Popeye's the other day. I did not eat the skin, just the thigh. It was a small chicken thigh. You notice when you go to the fried chicken places nowadays, they just give you like the smallest piece of meat. So Joe's, I'm going to cut diagonally so I can remember that that's his. Hey guys, Joe's putting in the gas. This is my outfit. One of the blouses Joe made for me. Put my little sombrero from Avon from like 30 years ago. Sombrero earrings. We're going to the beach, yes! So the next vlog I upload will be the beach. Bye guys! Yeah daddy, you know, you kimono. Get that up.